Sage 4 Quest 1, this level is a little different. And you'll so soon see why. I still love how the fire on the one side is just Aerith on the other side. Just, that just uh, really shows how lazy they've been. But, uh, in this stage, the walls aren't walls. They're just there to show where the stage is. You're flying against the uh, pumpkin. The uh, barbecue. <laughs> love that name. And um, you pretty much go on full speed whenever you have this thing. I love the colors like gray and dark gray and black. Yeah, who needs colors? Back in my day, we didn't have colors. We just have black and white. It was wonderful. We loved it. We had to walk five miles through a blizzard on bare feet with tigers attacking us to even see graphics like this. I mean, wow, this really looks really bad. I mean, they had graphics like this in the old DOS games of 1980s and stuff like that, so come on. Put some effort into your game, guys, really. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. These, uh, these three stages are really short compared to the rest. They're, this one's only 300-something. I think one is actually 200-something as well. And you can hit the obstacles. But there's not nearly as much of them as in the other stages, and, well, as I said, there aren't any walls, any real walls at least, so... Dodging stuff is not really a problem. The one thing you really, really need to look out for is when the, the, the turns start getting kind of wonky like this, you might fly off of the stage, and it can be really difficult to find your way back if you accidentally make a wrong turn because sometimes they have like 10,000 corners and for some reason it kind of implodes into itself and it makes it really hard to see stuff again so definitely be careful like not how I'm doing right now that's not very careful at all why is my nose so itchy I don't know that's not very important right now we are racing and having lots and lots of fun oh land without walls, but it- oh god, no, 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 this is something I don't want to happen! I kind of like how the... First obstacle. But uh, yeah, I kind of like how the... how you kind of spin around as well, like right now the... Uh, the uh, dark grey ones, the dark grey walls and stuff are on the left and right, but every once in a while they're on the top and the bottom as well. And I kind of like that, I don't know why, it just kind of gives it an extra feel, I guess. It kind of makes it feel like you're playing Star Fox, which is a lot better. Yeah, that, that's what this game makes you feel like. In this stage, there are no visible obstacles, just enemies, and you fly through... Well... Star Fox graphics, really. It is no, there, no, nothing better than the graphics for Star Fox or Star Wing for the Super Nintendo, but there you go. Now, this one's actually a little bit longer. This one's 387 flies. God, I love saying that. That really makes me happy. What does FPS stand for? I have no idea. It's probably the one stage where you can just press um, X or um, square and circle. Why do we keep saying X? I don't know. But uh, just press square and circle for most of the turns, actually. But, yeah. I'll just continue making my sharp turns, just in case. And yeah, I'll be safe and stuff. And this is uh, really one of the stages where you, it's nice to be the quickest character because this is the highest speed you can pretty much get in the entire game. And it kind of speeds up the process a little bit, which is nice. So yeah. There you go. And there we fly. Yes, that made no sense whatsoever, but hey! We're in a dark grey and grey world with a black background, flying into the vortex. It's kinda look, it kind of looks like the level is moving instead of the uh, airships. We're just trying to keep up with the level instead. It's just... Uh, in, in fact, yeah. If you look at the radar, and you look at the stage, it kind of looks like we're playing Snake. We're just inside one giant snake, which we're controlling using the left and right keys, and it's trying to make its way to the little ball on the radar to make to get more points. Uh, yes, I have finally made sense of this game. This game is in fact Snake. Only a really elaborate and not very good version of it. Yes. Hurts all. Now we are all a lot wiser and happy and wonderful. Yeah. Mm. Oh dear. Something's flying <laughs> behind me. You gotta love it when something flying is flying behind you at pretty much the same speed and you just see that on screen. It's so wonderful. Oh yes. Oh, that was quite a lot of obstacles actually. Oh dear. It's a good thing the collision detection is still crap and you can pretty much only hit those yellow things. It's nice like that. And you could kind of hit those Star Fox spaceships, the little purple ones. 
which I'm almost 100% sure that were enemies in Star Fox as well, now that I think about it. Huh. Never noticed that. Kinda looks like they're starfish from World 2 in here as well. Hmm. Laziness? Perhaps. Probably. Yeah. But at least we're almost done with this game now. There's actually an ending to this game as well, there's like credits and everything. The pictures, I got a picture. The pictures make so much sense. Especially one of them. One of them is actually really quite cute, so her. But yeah, that's what you get when you finish this game so many times that. Ugh, why is this recording this feel so many times? I'm so done with this game once I'm done recording this. This will be the final time. If the recording comes like crap for this, I'm just gonna keep it. Except if it has like no sound, I guess. Ah! There we go. Come on. Up we go. You're ridiculously low speed. Oh well, you take what you can get. And the opponent is so far behind us anyway, it doesn't really matter anymore. So hey! But yeah, these stages are really easy to get under the 5 minutes, but uh, like 600 stages in uh, stage 3, it's... I have no idea how to do that. Maybe if you take like shortcuts, a lot of them. Yeah. A goal! And one more stage to go. And then we can say goodbye to this wonderful piece of fluff that is this wonderful game of wonderfulness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire. Arif! Red! Yellow! Blue! Go! I don't know why they chose blue. Let's just go with it. And this is one of the shortest stages again. 293. Nice, nice, nice. Shouldn't take two, should take like that, maybe two and a half minutes or something. And then we are done! And then, after the credits, I'll just show the little uh, level select screen that I think should have appeared because I will have finished the game and I think that's what you need to do to unlock it, so... There you go. Maybe I'll even make a save game of it for the hell of it. But I probably won't, because I'll probably forget. And near. Yeah, I don't know. Go with it. It makes sense when you think about it. But yeah, this 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 part you just need to make sharp turns constantly. <laughs> pretty much every for pretty much everything. You're just constantly turning the entire level. So if you don't know how to make sharp turns and somehow made it to this point in the game, I well I congratulate you really, but uh, at this point you kinda of need to. Yeah. Unless you maybe maybe if you're playing point time try you can really take your time for it Because time attack is a weird name point time try now that makes sense. Yes Totally and We are going to make it we are totally winning this race there is just me and one more opponent It is barbecue. He is not doing a very good job, and we are winning we are winning so hard right now, and it is totally wonderful, and everything is great, and I'm flying past yellow things, which are, have no description whatsoever, because I don't know what they are, and occasionally there are stars, and occasionally there are weird Star Fox spaceships, and I'm kinda having a cold at the moment, but oh well, I'm still talking constantly, I don't know why, I don't know why I suddenly started shouting, but I'm going for it, and I'm lost. But now I'm no longer lost, and we are making it to the goal, and no longer falling off, and come on, come on. Almost! Almost! We are almost there, ladies and gentlemen! We are almost done with this amazing race of amazingness! And... Go! Wow, my voice broke there for a moment! Did not see that coming, but we made it to the end, so we will now watch the amazing ending credits. Bam! Um, bam. Loading screen, and... And... Credits! There we go. Here we see the blue, presumably Star Fox guy he looks completely different than in the other picture, but oh well. Here we have a waterfall. Okay, fair enough. Don't really remember that one, but oh well. For some reason, this picture is not in color either, but that thing has big eyes, so it's awesome. I guess it's one of the fish, and it looks pretty cute. And this, I, I have no idea what that is. I guess the lava stage or something? I don't know. And the Star Fox said this just looks like a screenshot from Star Fox, really. I mean, really. And the girl... Can't have credit sequence without a random anime girl popping up, right? Or Masato Furata? 
And this is a cute picture I was talking about. It's barbecue with a little brush. It's adorable. I think it's adorable. And Yuki Nakamura thinks it's adorable too. Leo, who is naturally looking in a different direction because he's too cool to look into cameras. And now the fox, I think, again. This time he looks like he did in the other picture. It's really quite weird that way. And the other anime girl. I think there were two anime girls, actually. Mm -hmm. I guess so. Special ta thanks to blah 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 and you. Yes, they went there. Produced by... Boom! Cheapest Neo Rex logo ever. I love how they just cut the music and just go to the Neo Rex logo, sending you straight back, you guessed it, to the bloody title screen. Yeah, wonderful. Okay, so let's just quickly go to Cosmic Rex again. Just quickly show off the level select screen. I say quickly, but the loading screens are longer than things. So you have stage one, two, three, and four. This is the nicest one. I mean, there are so many. I guess in this one, you can kind of see what the stage is, like at the top, the left, and the bottom right. But even then, the maps make so little sense that there really is no point looking at it. Here, I have absolutely no idea. And to be honest, no, I don't have one here either. And this looks just kind of looks like a sideways heart. Helpful. So yeah, that was Cosmic Race. I hope you enjoyed it, and see you next time. Bye-bye.